following a training incident, which was not even out in the news yet, um, earlier this year, I received a call from the unit psychiatrist for a military unit for an army unit. She reached out to me and she was shook, understandably so. The Red Cross was the first thing that came to mind. And she said, what can we do? Is there anything that you guys can do to support us? We're gonna have a stand down day tomorrow. And we said, absolutely. Let us bring lunch for these folks and provide some hugs and you know, canine cuddles to help support these folks through this unfortunate time. There were just people kind of milling about. Sometimes there would be just people sitting on the on the ground, cross-legged, just, you know, hanging out, just to be around other people to kind of just process what they were what they were feeling. And um, the dogs are just amazing. I remember Bear just like went over and like literally sat he's 70 pounds so he's a big boy and he literally just sat down on a soldier and just sat in his lap you know that soldier was sitting by himself i'm sure he was pondering a lot of things and harboring a lot of emotions and sometimes no words are better than you know other than some words and um so i think just being there and you know holding the leash and being on and having bear at the other end of the leash and he's doing the work you know, sharing a, a, a love and a, a caring nature is, is pretty special. They were exactly what this command in this unit needed during this situation. The command and the unit psychiatrist, to see how this impacted them brought tears to my eyes. At the end of the, the day, he was talking to one of our volunteers and just saying thank you. And to see this toughened army person cry when they're hugging our volunteers like there's nothing that says thank you more than that.